So to use Gemini in your translation project, simply go to Bohemicus and to the um, language and settings tab and to this Gemini option and select it. You will also need to insert your Gemini API key and in the second part of this video, I'm going to tell you how to get this key. But for now, let's click also the settings button and let's uh, choose the Gemini translation engine. And then you can also add some additional instructions such as use formal voice. Or you could also add uh, your glossary, which would be used uh, when translating your files. And then simply click save. Then you also need to select your languages. So let's select the source language, which is English in this case, and then also target language, which will be Arabic. And then uh, let's actually try to use this to translate uh, some uh, files. So I have here a file, which will, which we will use now to show you the Gemini translation capabilities. Uh, so let's close it and let's uh, drag and drop it onto Bohemicus. All right. And now you can simply check that your translation engine is Gemini and you just click the translate button, which is right here. And now Bohemicus will start translating your file. This will take a couple of uh, seconds or perhaps minutes, depending on the size of your file. Okay, so it's been translated now. So let's close this window and let's check if our file has been translated. And as you can see, everything is in Arabic right uh, now. So I'm also going to show you how to actually get this Gemini API key. This is very simple. Simply go to Google and Google get Gemini API key. Click it and then simply click the very first uh, link and click get a Gemini API key in Google AI Studio. Then simply create API key. And then you will need to select your existing project from your Google Cloud Console, which in this case is Translate API Project. So let's click it and let's click Create API Key in Existing Project. Uh, and now you can simply copy it. So click the Copy button and uh, go back to Bohemicus to the Language and Settings tab and simply insert your API key into the Gemini API text box. So this is uh, how you actually use Gemini for your translation project.